lovelies welcome to my channel here we are doing another spell for you guys this spell is particular this is for those that have currently been having difficulty financial instability um this is also for those that if you've ever experienced doing really well money wise and things are going great for you and all of a sudden it comes to a halt or it comes to a standstill it could potentially be because a lot of people are all up in your business. For some of you guys, it could be even family member, friends that are around that are constantly wanting to see how good or how well you're doing. People that are basically salandote, which is what we say, um, creating a lot of blockages that were not there based on envy or jealousy. So again, this could be for those of you guys that are struggling money-wise. Perhaps you've been going through a never-ending cycle of difficulties. For some, it may be that you were doing well, and like I said, you came to a standstill. This spell is for those two scenarios. It is for those that are struggling money-wise, as well as for those that were doing well, and all of a sudden started uh, incurring difficulties or blockages. Now, as you guys know, energy is everything. And the people that you choose to surround yourself affects greatly, not only the flow of money, the flow of income, but as well as stability, as well as health, and as well as love or relationships. So it is important not only to create protection for ourselves, but also to protect every single aspect in our lives. This particularly is for money. So I'm going to take you guys down very quickly what you're going to be needing. As you guys can see here, we have... The cigar, this is not something that is needed depending on the deity or saint that you're working with. As you guys know, money and finances, I work with my Saint Simon, so that's the reason why I have the cigar. Now, what you are going to be needing is you're going to be needing a head of uh, garlic, seven coins of the highest denomination in your country. Um, you're also going to be needing coarse sea salt or any type of sea salt would be great a jar and water like i said this is very simplistic but it is extremely powerful not only in the beginning process of the spell work but also the concluding of it and i will show you guys and take you guys down through it all right my lovelies so let's get to witching all right so what we're going to start off with here is we're going to be getting the garlic as well as the uh, coins and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be introducing the coins in the garlic head and like I said you're going to be needing seven coins you guys so try to stick with seven seven it is a very powerful and crucial number especially in the spirit realm that's the reason why we're using seven coins here All right, and it's going to be looking something like this. All right, you guys, it's going to be looking something like this. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to introduce it here in the jar. All right, you guys, once it is introduced into the jar, what we're going to do now is we're going to be adding some of the salt. And what this is going to do is basically it's cleansing it's cleansing the energy of money and your finances as well as releasing any blockages that have been sent uh whether it's on a conscious or subconscious level so once we're done with that what we're going to do now is we're going to introduce the water give me one second and you can pour any type of water into this and we're going to fill it up If the coins turn around or if they fall out of the garlic, as you guys can see here, that is absolutely okay and no worries. Because what we're doing is we're renewing the energy of our finances, of our money, of basically opening the doors and releasing and removing the blockages that have been sent our way. 
Now, this is the most important part, you guys. When you're done with this, what you're going to do is you're going to hold the jar with both your hands and you're going to recite the uh, you're going to recite the palms um, number 23. Now, this prayer, it is extremely powerful. Um, make sure that when you're doing it, you're completely focused. Your heart is open and your mind is open. You're going to put your uh, prominent hand, which to me would be my right, and you're going to chant. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadows of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. For your rod and your staff comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Once that is done, my lovelies, what you're going to do now is you're going to... Again, like I said, depending on who you're working with, what your deities are, um, for myself, I will light my cigar and empower it with St. Simon's energy. Give me one second. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to blow, blow some of the cigar. Saint Simon, I ask you that you are present, that you are the one who illuminates, that you are the one who empowers. Este trabajo que empieza de comenzar en tu santo nombre, mi San Simón, así sea. Okay. Once that is done, my lovelies, what you're going to do is you're going to leave this by your nightstand. You're going to leave it under your bed. Wherever it is that you sleep, that's where it shall remain next to you for the next coming seven days. Now, this is the important process here, you guys. After the seventh day, what you're going to do is you're going to toss out the water with the salt. You can toss it out anywhere you like. I would preferably toss it out either by the plants or somewhere in nature. You're going to take out the garlic head and you're going to take out all the coins. You can dispose of the garlic head. Again, I would do it with the nature, probably bury it in the bush garden. Once that is done, I'm going to get the coins. And what you're going to do with the seven coins is you must offer them give them to a homeless person or go to a church and offer those coins so again give it to a homeless person someone that is in need someone that is asking for assistance you're going to give them the seven coins or you can uh, offer them at a at, at the church at the entrance of a church you don't have to give it to someone you can put it at the entrance of the church uh, for those of you guys like myself that love to visit the cemeteries, you can offer the coins at the entrance of the cemetery. Once that is done, like I said, the spell has then been completed. Watch and see how quickly things start to change for you. If you notice that money starts to, to come in very quickly or there's more opportunities in your way that are coming your way that are being offered to you, for a lot of you guys, especially those of you guys that have been working at a company for a long time, for example, and they haven't given you a raise in the next, like in the past two years, three years, if you get a raise out of a sudden after this has been done, know and understand that this is a validation of the envy and jealous and jealousy that has been sent your way. And I would encourage highly if you notice this very quickly. A quick turnaround yes it is amazing to get quick results with spell work as you guys all know sometimes spell work is a process and it does take a while but for this particular type of spell if the turnaround is very quick 
know and understand that the energy that was being hindered was energy that was being sent your way. So that is a validation of the people or the people you surround yourself with or the people that are constantly being all up in your business, for example. Uh, it is a strict a validation that you need to cleanse yourself and keep yourself cleansed. I would highly encourage you guys to do a egg cleansing every six months as well as this spell every six to seven months just so that you can maintain the flow of energy of money um, and so that you can keep yourself uh, the, the or, or keep your energy to the to highest vibration. Again, I assure you guys that you're not going to be disappointed. You're going to be very grateful when you start to see the turnaround. I ideally would ask you guys um, when things start to go well for you. Give an offering to the spirits. Um, it could be as simplistic as offering an apple to a tree, to a rose bush, um, an offering to birds, an offering to uh oranges for example anything like that anything that is of offering that comes from your heart um you will start to notice that more blessings start to come your way and like i said if it is a very quick turnaround as an example you go from being unemployed to being employed within the next two weeks know and understand that that is just validation that in fact you were being hindered by other people's energies and that's when i would highly encourage you guys to cleanse yourselves all right, my lovelies, I hope that you guys enjoyed this spell. Like I said, it's very simplistic, very to the point, but with amazing results. I wish you guys all the very best, and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.